Hey guys, in my quest to clean cars in every country, my first is Australia. Maccas. But driving on the left side of the road and from the right side of the car was a major fail for me. Nonetheless, my dream is to go in a real overlander in the deep outback of Australia with the mud and the muck far away from civilization, have an absolute blast, then go back to the studio and get her cleaned up once again. This is exactly what we're gonna do today. To find the baddest of bad trucks, my boys from Stash put me in touch with Commando Steve, a former Royal Australian Commando, hence the name Commando Steve. Plus, he's also known for wearing dark sunglasses and camo pants as the military trainer on the hit TV show Biggest Loser Australia, and now owns one of the largest CrossFit studios just outside Sydney, which is where I managed to meet him and his Land Cruiser wow, without any nice. major head-on collisions on, along the way. Nice to meet you. How are you? Ah, Steve. Ah, Larry. Nice to meet you. You doing all right? I'm doing all right, but man, this thing is crazy. Thanks, mate. You know, a bit of blood, sweat, and tears have gone into this. It's a 79 uh, Land Cruiser. So uh, we've gone a little above and beyond with the five inch lift, 37s. And then we can go into the back. You know, it's all kind of. Oh, wow. So we've got the fridge. So that's, you know, up and running. So we've got. Yeah, the lithium batteries, 60 litres of water. Yeah, you got your little um, pantry here. You know, even a little oven and the like. You know, you can put the coffee machine in and the top up here. Yeah, air compressor in here. So then you can go around. So it's it's pretty much self-sustainable. Oh man, this is a dream of mine to come here, go in the outback and, and see what something like this can do. Man. Not a problem, but hey. Yeah? You're in my presence, you're at my gym. I see that. So uh, before we go and get this dirty, I'm gonna make you sweat. Let's do it. <laughs> Step one was to not throw up on camera during the warm up. All right, mate, here we are. Welcome to uh, Get Commando Fit. I thought we'd start off as you would with any workout, do a bit of a warm up. Sure, we'll, uh, just keep it, it short and simple. Okay. Do a bit of mobility, range of movement. Okay. Then we'll have a bit of fun. I think we'll just keep it kind of body weights and light weights with dumbbells and a bit of we'll fun. A bit of fun. Yeah. Always fun. Come on, mate. <laughs> Famous it's my life, it's what I do. <laughs> you know, so watching some of your stuff, you know, you're in awkward positions yeah. all the time and the like, so mobility, range of movement is, um, is important. All right, what we're gonna do, I'll get a timer. A bit of fun. I'll throw a timer up on the, uh, on the screen. We'll go one minute, and in that effort, yeah. so let's do six laps. Six laps. So we finish back in this location. Got it. When we get back in this location, you've got five push-ups. Got it. And the remainder of the minute, max wall balls. Got it. Five, one more. All right, five push-ups. All good. All right, then on your wobble. So whatever's left. Big breath, accuracy. Ah, oh, yeah, burn it, sucker. And rest. Woo! Do I do one more? Let's do one more. Did you count your reps? Yeah, it was like... 75 or something like that? Oh, whatever. Keep that wall ball high in the chest. No excuses in here, Larry. And time. Woo! You got water in Australia? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's cool. Thank you. Ah, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, mate. 10 years younger. 10 years younger, a little more hair. <laughs> Job well done, now let's go get this thing dirty. Uh, that, that I can do, I'll help you with that. All right, all there. right, that's good. <laughs> After passing the test, we headed off to the bush in the Land Cruiser. The sound on the highway was insane. After some time, we arrived on private land that had largely been untouched for years, and I felt like I was on the set of a Jurassic Park or something crazy. I've never seen or experienced anything quite so beautiful in person. <sighs> wow. All right, Larry. Yes. We've had some fun in the gym. Yes. A little sterile environment. Now we're out in the bush. We're in the middle of nowhere. Beautiful Australian landscape. This bad boy's natural habitat. I see that. We're uh, gonna get uh, this thing dirty. So what's step number one? So step number one, we need to air these tires down because we're gonna head down the trail to the left here and it's gonna get a little muddy. Caps off. All right. Caps off. And I'll get the, uh, the pressure gauge. Yep. So you take one. Fairly simple process. Just clip it on. Yeah. 
And then all you got to do, power this bad boy up. So it's at say 44 and a half, yep. watch. And then you just log it off, gives you where you're at, yeah. Yeah, just put everything in there, yeah. Yeah, that'll do us. First time in the outback. What do you guys call it, bush bash? <laughs> oh, if you're in a vehicle, yeah, go. let's go for a bush bash. <laughs> let's go for a bush bash. But the tire pressure is now set. We headed off into the bush, and of course, we were escorted the entire way by Frankie, the Kelpie, who stopped off for a dip any chance she got. Look at the dragonfly in the front of the car. Oh yeah, that's mad. As I learned throughout the trip, the only real concern we had with a truck of this size and capability is getting stuck in wombat holes. Do wombats attack or something? Like I don't. Nah, they're pretty docile. They just big. Wombats are short-legged, thick-bodied, super muscular, and they're native to Australia. They weigh between 40 and 70 pounds, and they dig these really deep burrows and are, for the most part, harmless, except when the, let's say, unsuspecting person or horse, or in this case, even a truck, falls into the hole that is pretty much unseen until you're actually in it. When we eventually came out on the other side, the undercarriage was strangled in weeds and mud was everywhere top to bottom on the suspension. But most of the mud that hit the top of the car was because we were turning the wheel and he was so deep in the water in the marsh. And when we took that detour, it would, that got a little sketchy. I have to say, uh, the smell was incredible. It's gone sideways. It was like, just feeding the throttle. <laughs> oh, boy, you can smell it. stinks. <laughs> <laughs> This is unbelievable. This is like really like Jurassic Park. There's water everywhere. There's birds flying. I mean, this is just unbelievable. I appreciate the opportunity. Go for a ride in the truck. This thing is incredibly capable. We were up to water this high. That was fun, wasn't nice. it? But I do promise we're going to clean this now. I bloody hope so. <laughs> Mate, otherwise I'm putting you through that workout again. <laughs> Thank you so much. Not this a problem. Awesome. <laughs> Before we headed back to the Ammo Australia studio, we prepared a bit of brekkie from the Land Cruiser to fuel up for the hours of cleaning we had ahead of us. Once back in civilization, the mud had dried and hardened up and whatever was left of the weeds is now knotted up around the suspension. So at this point, we just removed all the weeds from the axle. Obviously, if those go in the drain, it's gonna clog. Second thing is you can see the mud really, really thick here. Now they have an oil water separator down there and if all that junk gets in there, the mud, the leaves, uh, the, the, the weeds, all that stuff, it's going to clog everything up. So what Brody's doing over there is grabbing old dirty towels and we're going to build a berm around, right there, see it's building up, um, around the drain so that the water goes in but the mud stays out. We'll scoop the mud up and then put it in the garbage can and avoid some problems. That's what we're doing right now. Next was power washing, which of course is incredibly satisfying on a truck this sturdy, but naturally I lost the rock, paper, scissors to Broads, so he got to power wash the Land Cruiser. While Brody was still rinsing, I filled up the cannon with foam for a pre-soak, then a proper wash and wheel cleaning session. That is the largest car I've ever foamed. Every nook and cranny went through an entire bottle on that and it absolutely needed it. So we're gonna need a couple extra guys to scrub this down. Ooh, oh yeah, hey! Talk about getting crucified on the internet after that one. Two thousand years later. There's still mud coming out. Oh, 
Oceans 5 and I dried the paint with every conceivable tool possible, and at this point, we were about 15 hours into the day, so we were all going a bit crazy. There you go. Thank you. With the truck out of the wash bay and under the lights, we added skin over the clear bra, and then I chatted with the team about best practices and, of course, tips and tricks so we can keep our detailing results consistent from country to country. Now, skin is absolutely amazing. It was my first product that I ever produced along with mud. Uh, incredible at actually cleaning the pores of the paint as well as protecting it. So there's stuff in there that's actually kind of, it's like um, exfoliating your skin, so to speak. That's why we call it skin. And then of course, protecting it at the same time. So we're doing a double duty. Now everything is sort of moved towards coatings, but this, this is OG. Like this is a long time ago. This is the best stuff in the world. I, I still put it on. I still like the way it looks even better. It has a, a deeper, richer shine. It's really smooth. Perfect application for this. As soon as it gets mud again, power wash it, it's gonna slide right off. But we have 5,000 square meters of things to do here. So uh, hop in, you, you, boom. And this was the longest wash in the history of washes ever. We probably spent, how many hours did you spend? Four and a half hours washing this car, something like that? And it still, and it needed it. It's still like dripping all over the place. But man, what a trip. This is one man I do not want to make angry. He's got Commando Steve on his truck. That's the guy you're like, yes sir, no sir. That was smooth. This thing looks epic. Then we cleaned up the interior. This sweaty Commando handle. While Brody applied Gillet Pro wheel coating to the rims and the depth and shine of the gold rims really started to pop. With mud on the rubber and the windows now clean, we called it a night. Right in early the next day, Steve came in before his CrossFit class to inspect his beast. Commando Steve, good to see you. Uh, how are you, mate? Uh, I'm a little tired. This thing was a, was a beast, but look at it. Oh, check it out. It's glowing. Unbelievable. This was the longest wash I've ever done on any truck, car, <laughs> supercar, anything. Got to say, mate, we did get pretty dirty. Uh, yeah, we did indeed. We spent half the time, Brody did, getting the underneath there, pulling out all the junk and the leaves and the uh, weeds. And, I mean, there was stuff in here I didn't even know existed. It's shiny. It's shiny now. On top here, we put ammo skin. You can feel just crazy yeah, slick. Yeah, wow, so, so slick. When you, when you get back out there, as soon as the mud hits it, it's going to come right off. Yeah, yeah. Doing a quick little touch up, we put ammo stickers on there, stash stickers, interiors all cleaned up. Oh, wow, uh, check yeah. that out. Just like a new one. Brand new. Oh, mate, you've done an amazing job. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Here are your keys. Come on, mate. Now, Thanks, before mate. we give them to you, you got to bang out some push ups. What fair, do you think? fair deal, fair deal. You did a training session with me. We got this thing dirty, and you've just brought it back to life. Um, I'll, I'll give you those 10. Let's do it. Well, guys, there you have it. Me and Commando Steve doing push ups, driving in the outback, and having a blast. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. <laughs>Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video and I just wanted to express my gratitude, a huge thank you to the Ammo team in Australia for helping me fulfill my detailing dream. Scott, Josh, Brody, Leighton, Jordan, and DJ, you guys are the absolute best. I couldn't have had a more successful launch of the AmmoNYC.au website without you. Huge, huge thank you. And of course, your help for building the state-of-the-art ammo detailing facility within the Stash headquarters just outside Sydney. Again, really, it's just a dream come true. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guess what, guys? Canada, here we come.